In a perfect world, every time you plug your charger cable into your phone or your tablet, it should instantly start charging. But what do you do if when you plug it in, it doesn't start charging? Or when you wiggle it around, it starts buzzing and starts connecting and disconnecting? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you one simple little tip that might actually get your phone back up and running. Let's go. And what is that tip? It involves these, yes, toothpicks. We're going to use toothpicks to clean out the lightning port, but this works for USB-C ports or USB micro or mini or any other port that you may have and even your headphone jack. And there's another video I'll link up the top and in the description about your headphone jack and how to clean that out. But for now, let's grab a toothpick and see if we can clean this out so that we don't get these loose connections happening that we've got going on now. So we'll unplug the cable there. We will grab just one toothpick. We should only need one or two to get this done. And what we're going to be doing here, the reason that the connection doesn't work a lot is that sometimes little bits of stuff, of crud and other pieces of lint and things, especially if you keep this in your pocket, are gonna get caught up in here. So if we just start digging around in here, what we're gonna find is that there's going to be little bits of dirt little bits of dust and other little foreign particles that are actually blocking up this port. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna continue doing this, look at that. Yeah, so you get a big chunk like that that's going to be blocking the cable's ability to connect. So if you look at that, you think, oh, that's only a tiny little bit. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go through and I'll continue this and I'll clean out this whole port and we'll see how much of this gunk is in there. And then we will test it out and see if we get a more secure connection with our lightning cable. <laughs> So after about five minutes of digging around there, you can see how dirty the ends of these toothpicks are. And look at these piles of crud that I've got here. These are all big chunks of pocket lint and other bits and pieces that were caught in there. And you can imagine that if you're trying to plug in something like a lightning cable or a USB mini or micro or USB-C cable, and these are sitting on top or in your socket, yeah, it's gonna stop the pins from actually connecting and it's going to cause those problems like not connecting at all or where it connects and disconnects because every time it moves around, a piece of crud is getting in the way. Now, why do we use a toothpick? Well, it's to make sure that we're not doing any damage to the socket. So you do need to be super careful doing this. Don't go and cram it in there or use anything metallic that could short out anything or could cause some serious damage in there. The other thing that can work with this is compressed air. So if you have a can of compressed air, that can often blow out some of these particles. But once again, be very careful with this because you do want to make sure that you're not causing damage. And I'm not can be able to take any responsibility if you do cause damage to your phone or your tablet. But let's now plug this back in and see how it's working now that we've done this. So we'll move our dirty toothpicks out of the way there and then we will grab the cable plonk it back in and there we go. We are ready to use this phone and now that's a nice stable connection there. It's going in nice and tight. It's not going off and on so we can move the cable around. It's not going to pop off and on. So if you've ever had that problem where you plug it in and then it keeps going because it keeps connecting and disconnecting, this is one method that may help you out. Now it's not going to solve every single problem. You may actually have some sort of other problem. So please, if this doesn't work for you, if you try this out and you choose to try it out at your own own risk and it doesn't work, then consult some professional help. But there you go. I'm going to throw away these dirty toothpicks. I hope this helps you out if you are having this problem with your lightning charger, your USB charger port, even your headphone jack. Hopefully this helps you out. There's a couple more videos linked down below here. You can also subscribe to the channel if you're interested in music creation and all sorts of other audio topics. You can subscribe to the channel as well. Hope to see you on the next video. Cheers.